Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're gonna to talk about this live stream that we had yesterday. And uh, I don't know everything. I was able to get some things translated, but definitely not everything. Uh, Elizabeth here is gonna be one of the Fest characters. Uh, this live stream is just showing the three new Fests that we have, and I believe Elizabeth is actually gonna be free, which is amazing, that's wonderful. And you can see that uh, Elizabeth has strike skills, so that's that's pretty cool, except for unless you're going against certain characters that remove strike skills, which can really suck. But I'm not really sure what the translations are here. Uh, I tried finding out, but uh, I just couldn't get the information, so I do apologize for that. But I still wanted to show Elizabeth so we could watch her skills and see what... Uh, Elizabeth can do. I don't want to say he or she because I don't want to reveal any kind of information as to who Elizabeth is because this is a suit covering someone. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty funny actually. But really cool that we're getting a free new fest. That is awesome. So we'll see. I believe Elizabeth's skills are pretty much and core effects are pretty much copycats from other characters as far as I know. Uh, I think that... Uh, she has skill copied from Terry, Mai, Mr. Big, Omega Rugal, and the ultimate skill from Orochi 3PG. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm just not sure. But in the live stream tomorrow, uh, I'll probably end up live streaming the live stream <laughs> so we can all talk about what's going on in that live stream because uh, they're going to go into more detail about what we got coming. But, uh, you know, from just looking at the, this text, it's hard to know what's really going on other than that there's strike skills. I see a blast skill there, and that's about it. So we just jumped into the skill preview here, and we can watch these skills here. Now let's check this out. So this will be the first skill that we're going to see. Okay. These guys like to talk. Okay, so we see some super armor. Interesting. Okay, super armor. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Let me do that again. Oh, that's the second skill. Got the glasses. Nice. I believe that's supposed to be from Pretty Big. And that's my, that's my sure annuities. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, they're definitely copycat skills. Okay. Interesting. And that's Rugal's special. <laughs> Genocide Kata. That's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty wild seeing a giant duck do all that. It is pretty funny. I, I don't know how much I'm going to play with Elizabeth, but, yeah, but you definitely can have some fun with this character for sure. Oh, not bad. Orochi, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that's pretty cool that is pretty cool I normally I'd say it was lazy to do things like that but I don't think so in Elizabeth's case I think that's pretty cool so now we've moved on to Gintoki and man he looks stoic god he looks awesome Woo -wee. and Gintoki uh, he has his first skill gives him 3 seconds of damage immunity and his PvP exclusive is a 50% chance to ignore guard, which is wonderful. And he can disable the guard for 4 seconds if successful attack. His skill 2 gives him a 28% all attack buff. And his skill 3 gives him 3 seconds of super armor. Plus it gives him 6 seconds of bloodbath, 30% attack bleed, and 80% healing decrease, decreasing your opponent's heal. Uh, that is awesome. Plus his finishing skill has bloodbath as well. So that means he's gonna deal a crap ton of bleed This guy is gonna be pretty strong uh, You know some people you know because he doesn't have hyper armor They might you know knock on that but honestly guys, you know There's characters that I have ranked in the triple S tier that don't have hyper armor like Adelheid He's amazing, but he can actually remove hyper armor. So it's a little bit different but we'll see, we'll see. He, Gintoki definitely does look strong. I've already watched a little bit of this. Uh, he definitely looks strong, we'll see. Uh, one thing I did notice is his cooldowns are quite low. 10 seconds, 10 and a half seconds. Uh, pretty low cooldowns with Mexico cooldown cards. That's gonna drop down to six and seven seconds. That's not bad at all. 
when you have three seconds of super armor three seconds of immunity you can juggle those skills around uh and actually you know keep them alive and be able to keep rotating through your skills so we'll see we'll see i'm i'm very interested but he looks amazing i'm loving the fest look oh oh i love it just, oh he's just holding that sword he looks so awesome hell yeah hopefully they'll buff the other characters as well compared to the versions that were released in jp that would be really nice as well but we'll see hopefully in the next live stream we'll see that come on boys yep 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 i'm not sure what the strike the uh, striker skill is i mean i just know about the active skills and that's about it all right now here's the good part we get to see what these skills look like now this first skill is his damage immunity the first skill he does can be that damage immunity skill and this is the one that has a 50 percent chance to ignore guard and this is a pretty cool skill and it's actually got a good range on it which is actually quite nice come on guys there we go now look at how long that thing is he's using a sword but look at that it goes all the way across the screen so uh, I imagine he can get him from anywhere. You know, that is pretty sweet. Uh, that remains to be seen, but I think so. That's reminiscent of Ukyo's, but I think a lot cooler. <laughs> That's a pretty freaking cool looking skill. That's his attack buff right there. Very, very nice. Lots and lots of hits. And that is his super armor skill, which looks pretty freaking sweet. I love how he jumps up and flips, does the little sweep with the sword at the end. Very nice. And I like how the wind is uh, pushing against Gentoki while he's standing there. That's a cool looking special. I love the delay. Right after he does the flip, he has the delay. You'll see it. And there's the delay, and then he flips afterwards. That is cool. I like it. I like it. And then here's his ultimate skill. Very nice. Pretty decent. Pretty long animation. Very good. Okay, that's what we want to see. We want to see long animations. That's very nice. Okay, cool looking skill. So Gintoki's looking pretty sweet. Pretty happy with the way he looks so far. As far as his core effects, uh, the only thing that I know is when he's attacking a bleeding opponent, he inflicts 15% of attack and decreases their defenses by 15% for 5 seconds, which is really good uh you're going to be weakening your character while inflicting more damage at the same time it's pretty pretty freaking sweet and then you see the pvp exclusive i'm not sure what that text is i didn't really get that translated but the text in the white in the very bottom core is uh two and a half times the multiplier bleed nuke on crits nine second cooldown uh pretty much what it is is he's going to deal a lot of bleed uh, pretty much like bleed explosion, similar to Charlotte. Uh, he's going to deal a lot of bleed like uh, the, the rock. We all know how powerful the rock is because of his bleed explosion. Uh, that damage is just insane with those dot effects. Uh, it's freaking nuts. So that's really good to see. It's really good to see that he's going to have a hell of a lot of bleed. It's also really good to know that he's a blue unit. We need some more strong blue units for sure. So I'm very happy that... Uh, one of my favorite characters in anime is a unit that I can actually use, and I'm sure a lot of you can actually use as well. So I'm really happy to see that. That is sweet. So now we're on to Kame, and I don't know what his leadership is. I couldn't get that translated, but Kame looks freaking strong. Uh, he might be the strongest character of the bunch. I don't know yet, but he looks strong. As far as his core effects... He has a PvP only at the very bottom. There, they're showing it right there. And when hit, reduces the enemy's power gauge by 1.5% on a two-second cooldown, and inflicts any burn bleed back at the enemy when the ailment is taken for 50% of the effect strength. No cooldown on that. So <laughs> that is crazy. And then his, his last core. When using an active skill, increases burn damage by 50% on a 20 second cooldown. And when landing a critical hit on an enemy with burn inflicted, a 250% attack burn ailment, 5 second cooldown. What? 
So this guy's burn damage is going to be insane, especially when he does critical hits. Whoa. And that's what I mean. He just looks like he's going to be a strong mofo. As far as his skills, I believe his first skill has a 29% attack buff and disables skills for two seconds, even when they're guarding. And I believe this is all skills, not just, you know, strike skills or blast skills. That is very very powerful. That's two seconds where you don't have to worry about them doing a skill to you. That's pretty cool. Or inflicting damage on you uh, if this translation is correct. And then he gets three seconds of super armor from his second skill. And he gets inflict burn for 27% attack for five seconds. And that, I mean, that's crazy, guys. And then his skill three is a PvP only when attacking. So he's probably going to be a PvP character pretty much. When attacking super hyper armor opponents, 100% chance to destroy the hyper super armor while gaining a 20% attack, 10% defense buff for 5 seconds. So once again, we have another character that can remove hyper armor and super armor. <laughs> so he adds a list of Mature and Adelheid. Uh, wow. Very, very powerful stuff. Uh, lots of burn, uh, removing the hyper armor or super armor, uh, disabling skills. Yeah, Kame looks freaking pretty dope. Uh, he looks like he's, like I said, probably going to be the most powerful of them all. But we'll see, we'll see. And he's supposed to be a strong character. He's one of the main antagonists in the franchise and... He's a bad dude. You know, this is Kagura's older brother. And if you, any of you know anything about the Gintama, you know that he's one of the Yato tribe, which are trained alien assassins, more or less, uh, that are the best at the best at what they do. And what they do isn't so nice. Little Wolverine reference there. Let's check out these skills. Okay, so check this out. So that first skill gives him the attack buff and disables the skills. Yeah, and look at how fast that thing is. That thing is fast. He's almost in a blur. Look, he's in a blur when he does it. It's crazy. That's the second skill, giving him that super armor and the, all that burn. Yados have a thing with umbrellas. Pretty cool. Fast animations. Okay. This is actually a really cool special because this is reminiscent of what he does in the Gintama uh, franchise. Pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Does a little flick of the finger and knocks the hell out of him. He's a strong dude, man. He really is. And there we have the ultimate skill. A couple big slices. And just he just does some heavy blows is what he's doing. Pretty cool. And this guy has a 3 PG card. I'm pretty sure Gendoki does. Uh, maybe the Elizabeth does too. I, I don't really know. We'll have to watch the uh, action, the, their PvP gameplay, and see if we can notice that. But uh, I know that Kame has a 3 PG card, which is pretty cool. So now they're doing a little PvP match against the Tekken characters using the Gintama characters. I was a little disappointed that Katsura wasn't a Fest unit, but being a gold unit doesn't mean you're weak. That is for damn sure. So we'll, we'll see how he does. Paul taking on Elizabeth. A free character versus a free character. Come on, here we go. Oh, Paul getting it done. Ooh. Very nice. It's really funny watching this fight. <laughs> Seeing Elizabeth in there is funny. And these guys get real excited, which I think is awesome. I love the passion. Come on, come on. Paul is putting the beat down on Elizabeth. Uh, to be fair, uh, I don't know if these guys are just... I think they're just horsing around. I don't think they're really trying, to be honest. Especially judging from the gameplay that I'm seeing. I just don't think they're really trying too much. 
So don't be discouraged if you see uh, Elizabeth losing like that. Now freaking Toki. And this is the one I'm really... I'm, well, I'm excited for him and Kame. And I really... I'm hoping they're going to be meta, but we'll see. Man. And see, he's not even using the first skill. You know, the one that has the ignore guard and the immunity. Just not using it. It kind of sucks. Something I am... No and something else I'm noticing is the cooldowns on their skills are around eight seconds and gintoki with max skill cooldown should, should be around the seven second mark so that tells me they're only using one cooldown card on him look at the cooldown eight seconds eight seconds uh that should be lower than that so they're just using one cooldown card on him maybe some other card to amplify the bleed come on yeah yeah uh, no, no. Getting the beat down from Jin. That is such a cool skill. Oof. Man. It just, I don't know, you know. I We'll have to see, you know, maybe with some different car sets. The damage just didn't look very good. It looked okay, but it didn't look very good. It really didn't. I realize they're going against Jin, but still, watch the damage from this dude. Look at, look at, you see that? Do you see the damage at the end of that? It's freaking nuts. He just pew, melted it. He just melted it. And you notice that the ultimate skills are ready to go. And he's got a 3PG card. We didn't know, we couldn't tell with Gintoki because he never reached the 3PG. He never got up to 3PG on his bars. Look at that. That's dope. That is dope. Man, Lee has got some damage now. Just kind of stand in front of Okazia there and take a beating. Ugh. <laughs> Not a very good showing, to be perfectly honest. But you can see the potential. So I'm really, really excited for this collab. And I'm probably going to live stream the live stream tomorrow. So hopefully you all can join me there. So let me know how you're all feeling about the Gintama collab. I'm really, really excited. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.